Alright Justin, I saw your video and I wanted to help you out as to where you could go next with Poi. Thank you for being a sponsor for Patreon, that always means a lot. Uh, so, I was watching your video and there's a couple things that I noticed that I think you could go, go with. As you're spinning the Poi, you can even just use your right hand or your left hand, just spin in a direction. Uh, we're going to imagine that you're doing a weave, so you're going to turn to the left. Right now it's just going to be a figure eight, you can't see this, I'm going to wrap it here. It's going to be like a figure eight. In the moment your hand crosses to the other side, so if my right hand is on the left side, that's when I can wrap it. Okay? So a regular figure eight, when my hand crosses to the other side, I can wrap it. And it's the same with this. If I'm just doing a regular figure eight, the moment my left hand, see my left hand's on the left side, my left hand's on the right side, that's when I can open up my fingers and let the poi wrap around once. That will shorten it. So, is my right hand crosses and it's gonna wrap and make it shorter, and then my left hand crosses and it's gonna wrap. So, right hand wrap, left hand wrap, and then it's shorter, see that? So again, we have it this long, right hand wraps, left hand wraps. Now it's really small, right? Which of course, uh, the answer of opening it up is just opening your fingers and letting it drop. I actually have like three levels of drops that I do and depending on how long they are will actually depend on what I do. Like this one has a lot of really neat like bounce type motions. So, uh, so see if you can wrap it a little bit smaller and see if you can get the same motions down with smaller movements. I have a feeling you're actually going to get it a lot easier with smaller wraps. And as you get this wrap down and if you can still do those same moves, then in the middle without stopping, just go ahead and as your thumbs are pinching down on this, just open it up and let it unravel and then do it slightly longer. And then keep it super tight, super tight, unwrap. And see if you can keep the tightness. Then unwrap, unwrap, and unwrap. You got your uh, 3D weave, which is really nice. Do it with one hand to start with. Front, behind, front, behind. It does not be perfect, and front, Behind, front, behind. And then just see if you can do like little figure eights this way. That little difference is gonna make a huge difference later on. So we're doing the exact same motion here, except now I'm trying to mimic the motion somewhere else. So here, I'm pulling this up towards my neck. So you're doing the three beat weave, three beat weave, stop with your left hand, and then see if you can just guide this with your right hand by your head. So back to here. We're gonna do the same thing with your left now too. We're doing the three beat weave, three beat weave, stop with your right hand, and just see if you can get this motion. Now, this is a hip reel. Uh, if you look very closely at my hands, you'll see that as it goes behind, my wrist kind of points backwards, see? And then it lifts up, and that creates the, the drag to get a nice straight circle. So on front, it's gonna look like this. Our hip. So start here and see if you can do that. You'll notice right, left, right, left. But you won't be able to do that until first you feel this out and you're gonna hit your head a few times. That's why you wanna use soft boy. <laughs> uh, it'll help to really get good planes. But yeah, basically you're doing, you're doing the same motion except for you just your hands in a different spot. And then this, this as well, don't forget this one. And then one's gonna lead the other. Eventually you'll be able to go from here to here and back out. So it's like an endless, an endless transition and then eventually you know you can start adding all different kinds of extra things and going to the other side and choosing which point. There's all different kinds of things but I would say, at least for ninjas, that would, that would be my recommended next place for you to go. Hope this helps, man.